everyone, it's me Tara and this week's video is one for the books. I am not even kidding. I have put over a week of preparation into this video and that's saying a lot. I feel like pretending to be someone you're not for a week and a half, it gets kind of hard. So I'm, ab I'm about done. I'm about done. I have been requested to do this video so many times to a point where if I had done this video around the times you guys were asking me, it would be really obvious. So I had to wait until no one was asking me to do it. So here I am. This week, I went undercover as one of you guys. I pretended to be a fan account for like a week straight. In the beginning, I didn't want to tell anyone that I was doing this. I was like, you know what, I got this. I'm gonna make this account. So I made this account by the name of Brooklyn Ferber. I kind of just randomly thought about the name Brooklyn and then Ferber is a last name of a fourth grade teacher that went to my elementary school. And I was like, no one's gonna suspect it's me. I put like a picture of me that everyone has as my profile picture. I made my bio. My bio says, Tara Yummy Enthusiast, 20, my age, fan account. I started off by just tweeting something that would make it less obvious that I'm a new account. I said, I really don't want this account to flop. LMAO, I haven't had a Twitter account since I was 14. So no one could be like, what the heck, this is a new account on Twitter? Because sometimes when new accounts come on Twitter, people get sus. So the first thing I did was I started to follow people, like my friends in real life. So the cam boys, my boyfriend, trap girls, people like that. And I started like favoriting stuff, but that was no use. No one's gonna follow me from doing that. So I started following fan accounts that I personally know like as Tariyami, I know them by name. They look familiar to me because I followed them back on Twitter. My first victim, <clears throat> I mean, account I DM'd, was at Tara's no name. And I said, hi, sorry to bother you, but I see you like Jake and Tara. Same, haha. I haven't been on Twitter since I was younger, but I decided to make an account to keep up with them and the camboys. Just wanted to say hi. I don't know what people do. I don't know how people talk. Then she said, oh, hi. And then I said, thanks for following back, of course. Any recommendations on who to follow? And then she sent me recommendations. And then it wasn't working anymore. I started like DMing some other people and no one was really following me back. Everyone was like, who is this You know, and I don't blame them. They don't know it's me. It was a little odd, you know? So I decided I can't do this alone. I'm not a lone wolf. I need someone in on this. Someone who has been a resident of the Stan community for a while now. Her name is Deja, she's awesome. I've met her a couple times at VidCon and Playlist Live and stuff like that. So I decided to DM her on Twitter from my Tara Yomi account asking for some help. She helped me a lot throughout this. Before I got her in on it, I had tweeted saying I want to make a Tara Yummy like group chat on Twitter. Cause I know that's how people make mutuals on Twitter. Twitter encyclopedia, friends on Twitter. Like you follow each other back. I didn't know what it meant when I first started Twitter. Then Deja did me a favor and tweeted like, retweet this and like this if you want to be in a Tara Yummy group chat. And I retweeted it and favorited it off my Brooklyn Ferber account and so did a lot of other people. And that's when started getting juicy. I started DMing people in this group chat like I've been a fan and I know things about Tara and just normally, like it was someone's birthday in the group chat, I said happy birthday. I started just acting normal. I even said I live in the valley like I do in LA and I said, oh yeah, I've seen Tara drive by a couple times. I started just like acting normal, you know, and trying to get just people to trust me. And I, everyone in the group chat ended up like following me back, which is a good thing. And I'm like, okay, I got this. Now what? I want to stir some shit up, but I don't want it to make it too obvious. Deja in the group chat said, dude, Tara should start streaming. And they said, yeah, like she should stream and stuff. So I said, I miss her you now streams. And everyone's like, yeah, same, me too. I was just trying to act normal, as normal as I can. Um, just DMing them normal stuff. And then I kind of f***ed up and I sent them a screenshot or something and I had light mode on and everyone knows on Twitter that I have light mode. And I was kind of scared. I was like, oh f they're gonna find out that I'm me. No one caught on, so that was good. A couple days went by and I was just trying to be normal. I'm At this point, I'm trying to be as normal as possible. I don't want anyone finding out it's me. I want them to trust me. It was starting to get really boring. I went ahead and tweeted, fun fact, I actually have a Pekingese Chihuahua just like Tara. I thought it was a rare mix, but I guess not, ha ha ha. 
no one really responded, no one really cared. I was like, okay, I guess that's not, it's not juicy enough at all. I'm gonna tweet something a little bit more juicy. When I was deciding to make things more juicy, I consulted Deja and I said, Deja, what am I gonna do? And Deja said, maybe you can tweet off the Brooklyn account and then tweet something kind of suspicious off the Tara Yummy account. So that's exactly what I did. Off the Brooklyn Berber account, I tweeted. I've been craving those fruit bowl acai bowls for like weeks now. I let some time go by. I even consulted in the group chat and I said, hey guys, do you know anywhere good in LA I can get an acai fruit bowl for the people who do live in LA? And they told me an answer. And I was like, oh cool, I'll check it out. Then on my account, I tweeted, I wish today was a sunny day. I could sit on the beach and eat an acai bowl. Sad face because it had been raining in LA. Then someone caught on. Someone in the group chat said, wait, telepathic? Something like that. They noticed that I tweeted the same thing as Brooklyn Ferber after Brooklyn Ferber did it, even when I didn't follow Brooklyn Ferber back on Twitter. So I was like, okay, maybe people are gonna catch on. But no, people just kind of looked past it. And I was like, okay. It needs to get real. I need to start being really obvious, but not too obvious. I needed more people to follow me back on Twitter, ultimately, so more people could have the idea like, oh, this is weird, new account on Twitter. So I had Deja tweet something like, oh, I know I just recently met Brooklyn, but she's awesome. And I replied. I got a little bit more followers from that, which was good. I started acting normal again. And then, and then, I tweeted saying, Jake and Tara stream together more challenge. And I got 66 likes because I secretly was at Jake's house, me being Brooklyn Berber, and I was like, hey Jake, can you go favorite this for me? This is my fake fan account. And he's like, I got you, boo. He doesn't talk like that. He was like, yeah, sure, Tara, I'll do that. And a lot of people saw it, and I even pretended that it was this huge deal that he noticed me. You guys are so enthusiastic in group chats. First of all, I love it. I said, OMG, shut the fuck up. And I put at Jake Weber with a screenshot of him favoriting my tweet. I even went into the group chat and said, oh my God, Jake noticed me for the first time. And I got all sorts of congrats and congratulations from my fellow mutuals on my Brooklyn account. And they were very nice about it, so thank you. In the group chat while I was trying to act normal, I said, good morning, I'm already looking forward to Tara's video on Monday. And then I got some replies. And then I said, I hope she doesn't cancel this Monday, only because she usually would talk about it or hint at it. No one replied to that, except for Deja, who knows it's me, and said, true. A week has gone by, and I've gotten these mutuals to trust me in this group chat. Big mistake, because I'm Tara Yummy, not Brooklyn Ferber. I did have a failed attempt at people noticing that it was me. I said Nick from New Girl, and then I tweeted something about Nick from New Girl on my account. And I tweeted it too close together for it to look like Tara Yummy tweeted it after Brooklyn Forever, if that makes sense. So that didn't really count. I did something else once people started to trust me. I started DMing you guys some weird I DM'd at Faded Punks. Before that, I gained her trust by DMing her a whole bunch of really sweet stuff, which I did mean. I said I love your tweets, and they're always so clever and funny because I do love her tweets. But after that, I said, I can't believe Tara doesn't know how to tie her shoes. I started getting a little weirder. I DM'd at what the f Scott Sire. Did you know that Sugar makes Tara sleep on the floor while he sleeps on the bed? Imagine that. Imagine Sugar being like, uh-uh, Tara. I'm sleeping on the bed, you got the floor, boo. Sugar sleeps in the bed with me. But some weird shit, you know? So I DM'd her that. I DM'd at Tara's no name. And I said, did you know that Tara is putting out a line of dog clothing? <laughs> she said, huh? Question mark. And I was like, oh my God, this is juicy. I said, I don't know, I was checking with you because some stan account told me. And then she said, no, dot, 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 sassy. I was like, okay. I said, oh, I was looking forward to it. I wonder what she's thinking. She's probably like, this girl's nuts. And then I said, this isn't enough. I'm gonna go into this group chat, Tara's Shoddy's Bays. And I said, hey, I need new picture frames. Does anyone know where I can get some good ones? I don't know, f***ing Target, Walmart. You can get picture frames anywhere, but I just decided to, you know, say some weird things. Someone by the name of Kat said, like any picture frames? I said, yeah, I'm allergic to oak wood though, so it has to be different. I don't know anyone who's allergic to oak wood. I'm so sorry if you are. And they said, what about glass ones? And then I said, smart, thank you so much. And she's so sweet. She said, of course. But I think that is the most bizarre thing you could DM someone like, hey, I need new picture frames, but they can't be oak wood because I'm allergic. It's Friday, by the way, you guys. So I still have till Monday to mess with you because I'm not going to come out and say it's me until Yummy Mondays. As of right now, no one knows. So I'm trying to make it as obvious as I can because it's like the last two days I'm going to be Brooklyn Berber. I tweeted and I said, turning on my disco ball and listening to ABBA. First of all, everyone knows I have a disco ball in my room. I guess that's not too uncommon, but it was a very specific thing to do. So I told Deja, hey, can you reply to this so it gets more attention? And she said, I want a disco ball so bad, I will literally steal it. I said, do it. 
she said, don't tempt me. Then another person favorited it, which was good. It got some attention. Then I went on my Instagram, my Tara Yummy Instagram, like 30 minutes later, and I posted a boomerang of me with my disco ball, listening to Dancing Queen by ABBA. Now, if you guys don't catch on to this, I simply don't know what to tell you. I made it pretty obvious that it was me. But some people might not. I mean, there's only 32 people following me. But out of these 32 people, you would think at least one person would be like, wait a second. I don't know. I, I guess I just have to wait, right? This is kind of a video I have to post last minute because I have to be filming until the last minute because I don't know what your reactions are going to be like. I hope someone at least catches on from my weird tweets and my weird DMs to people and the fact that I'm posting ABBA and a disco ball in my story at the same time as I tweeted Brooklyn Ferber. So... We'll see what happens. Since it's Friday and this isn't going up till Monday, a lot of things can happen in two days. So I'm going to keep DMing you guys some weird things and seeing if anyone catches on. If people do start to catch on, I will be putting clips in after this. A week has gone by and I've gotten these to trust me. Big mistake because I'm Tari Yummy. I'm Tari Yummy. I'm Tari Yummy. Hey guys, this is the day before Monday, so the day before this video goes up, and I'm here with Sammy, my editor. Woo! You're pointing the wrong way, but you got it. <laughs> I'm the only person who was in on it. Huh? Woo! Huh? <laughs> and we're about to reveal Brooklyn Ferber to like anyone who replied to Deja's tweet, or to anyone who was in the group chat um, that wanted to join the Zoom meeting. It was pretty much anyone could join. Uh, as long as you like followed Deja, you probably saw it. So here we go. I'm gonna mute myself, um, and and I'm gonna hide my in. screen, and Deja's gonna go ahead and let everyone in. Okay, I'm gonna mute okay. and remove my camera. Me too. Okay. Okay. Ready? okay. Bye. Bye. All done. Tara, we can I see just you. Like Deja singing. We can see you. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Someone was just on the phone with Fern. Who's in here? I'm Maddie. Hey, Brooklyn. Hey, Hi, Maddie. Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Brooklyn's um, making dinner, yeah. so I don't know if she has her phone on. Ooh, yummy. I want dinner. Oh, Actually, I just... Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hi. What's your guys' like, favorite tar video? Let's let's pick which one we want to watch first. The My best. favorite tar video has to be the build a bear one still. Awesome. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Okay, I'm ready. I think that's everybody. I don't know if anybody else wants to join, but they can just DM me afterwards. Okay, wait, everybody, let's pose for a picture and then so I can screenshot and post it and then we'll start. Okay, ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is so awkward. Posing. Everybody posing? Yeah. <laughs> did you take it, Deja? I did. I hate <laughs> her. I hate her. Oh How my god. Out? I hate you, Deja. What? Has anyone noticed yet? Yeah. I hate her. <laughs> I had a feeling. They Wait, literally said, feeling. come on. They said, Brooklyn's feeling. eating lunch, or Brooklyn's making dinner. And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, Brooklyn, I'll be there. <laughs> and he was like, frick. Because someone said, hi, Brooklyn. I'm like, I they know my voice. Hi, <laughs> Brooklyn. Okay, I just want to say, you played this off so well. As a you didn't know? No. no. I, I, knew I, knew I, you I thought you were Dan. You thought this was just a Zoom call. You guys didn't realize that I'm Brooklyn Ferber, like, on Twitter. No. 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 Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm Brooklyn. I'm Brooklyn. I'm Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn. So, uh, so, uh. It's okay. Oh, God. What? Yummy. Hey guys, okay, so it's Monday morning and I'm about to reveal that I'm Brooklyn Ferber on the Brooklyn Ferber account. But I decided to have some fun with it before I did, so I went a little crazy. Thank you. 
guys so much for joining me while I tricked you mofos. Make sure to like this video if you want more content. Make sure to comment down below who or what you guys want to see next. Merch link is down below. All my socials are down below. Go check out the description, guys. I tricked you. I tricked some of you, I think. Yeah, I got you. I got you on camera. You on candid camera now. It's not Monday yet, so I don't know. Anyways, I had so much fun making this video and trying to gain everyone's trust. I'm so sorry if you don't trust me anymore. I don't think I'll ever do it again, so. If any new fan accounts start, don't think it's me. It's not me. All right, you guys, sorry. I pranked you. Hi, 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 Hi.